Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today I thought we'd take a look at the Star Wars 6-inch Black Line series, First Order, General Hux. Uh, this is one of those guys you're not going to be able to army build, he is a specific character, which is totally cool with me, because I think they did a really nice job on this guy. Uh, it's kind of hard to do uh, whenever you have figures that are all black, kind of like the TIE Fighter or Darth Vader, you know, characters like that, uh, to where there's really not a whole lot of colors with them, but they do break it up pretty nicely with a couple of different, uh, you know, blacks, where you got the regular just kind of black plastic here, but they also have some, uh, you know, kind of glossy black here at the brim or bill of the hat. His gloves are kind of a glossy black. Uh, you also have that with the boots uh, right here on the belt. And also his gun. It's got a, a little bit of gloss black on top of the black plastic, so which we will take a look at. Uh, there's, you know, kind of just a little bitty minor thing. Uh, you can see that it's that black plastic. You can see the gloss here on the handle of the back here and a little bit here on the front. On this side, you get the same thing, but you do get some a little bit of gray bits so you can see the little two dots and two dots there it's a little bit of gray there um you know give, give me gray paint on here now he's got these two different hands uh one you know it's just a grip you know gripping hand which at first you know i just put it in here even though he doesn't really have a finger on the trigger i just kind of always put things in the right hand but because i like the way that this looks to where it looks like he's kind of like pointing for his troops, uh, let's get that focused, but uh, pointing for his troops to, you know, and they're all behind him like, hey, go over there and get those guys, the rebels or whatever they're called, this uh, this movie, but, uh, you know, resistance, you know, go over there and get them. I kind of like that and him holding this gun. So on that note, I th you know, having this on the outside, I would like that silver paint. Uh, but then this hand, you know, it does have it where if you put it in here, then he's got a, you know, finger on the... Uh, the trigger there so i guess either way but then this hand's just you know has a gripping motion for no reason which is kind of silly looking so uh just you know a little bitty thing like that uh, i would like some silver paint but not that big of a deal uh, as far as the figure goes i think they did a really nice job of capturing kind of the accuracy that you see him in the movie uh one of the things that i really do like is the back here uh with this trench coat you see many times where we see the back of him and it's kind of folded over to where it looks like it's buttoned here down here connecting uh so you know capturing the accuracy of the film i think they did a pretty good job as far as this goes also with the pants uh it's like he got a you know pair of pants that were like one size too big so he has to pleat them uh, on the sides, but we saw that in the movie. You can kind of see it there a little bit better. And on the other one, uh, they captured that. So I'm, you know, glad that as far as, you know, movie accuracy, I thought they did a pretty good job there. Uh, but take a look at the, the face and, oh, well, there we go. Uh, I'm kind of a, you know, stickler for uh, eyes and this is the only one that I've seen so far, but it did not disappoint. Both eyes are looking directly at you. Uh, there's not one, you know, that's like droopy down here. The other one's high, or this guy's, you know, over here. He's looking like it's someone over there, and this one's looking over here. So uh, just both eyes straight and just actually completely, perfectly even. So really think they did a nice job on that. As far as the hair goes, uh, it goes around here. There's no yellow on the ears, so they stayed in the lines where they are supposed to. Uh, some more paint that you get, uh, you're going to have the First Order emblem here uh, on the shoulder, so you can see some, you know, you know the white and the red kind of going around. So, I mean, it's obviously, you know, just stamped on there with the paint, but looks very nice. Uh, you also have the First Order logo here in gray if you can kind of see that and then you have some silver paint going around here around the cuff and then you get the silver paint there at the the buckle but uh overall i think it you know they did a nice job uh, i especially like the uh the gloss paint you know just on you know the bill the hands and the boots uh, the belt you can't really see but uh, as far as the articulation goes, uh, this guy, he does have a ball joint here at the top of the head, and then he does have the neck joint that goes back and forth. You can see that this was probably originally black, uh, you know, like a couple of little bitty chips there, but uh, when you put his head down, you can't even really notice it. So uh, Then with the arms, because the trench coat, you could actually take this off if you wanted to, because it's a separate piece, so... I guess if you had an extra head or maybe a custom head and you want to take the trench coat off and put that on here, you, you know, you could have yourself another kind of little officer or something like that. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, the shoulders, but they go in and out quite a bit there, as you can see, you know, 
So you can fully extend because uh, you have quite a bit of movement there. They rotate. Uh, you have the elbow that is a 90 degree bend and it also rotates here. The hands, they can rotate. They go left to right. This one goes left to right as well. The waist and ab section is really nice to where you can get that rotation right there. And then you can see how much you can kind of bend uh, you know, there at the abs and back and forth. So really nice joint there. Uh, the legs I'm really pleased with because they put the slit here on the side. So this being that soft rubbery plastic, uh, if it was fully connected, you wouldn't be able to really, even though it's soft, you wouldn't be able to get that much room out of it. But because of the slits here, you can get this sucker all the way up. You can get in a high kick contest if you wanted to. Uh, it goes back quite a bit as well. Again, you know, soft rubbery plastic, so it doesn't really hinder the figure at all. Uh, you know, in and out, uh, you do have the thigh cut that you can see right here. The double jointed knees and also the boot can go back and forth and also rotate here. So uh, as far as articulation, I think this one is pretty good. And uh, as far as, you know, staying in the lines with the paint, I think they did a good job too. So uh, pretty cool figure. I like them. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoy. Uh, give you guys a little 360 of them one last time. But I will talk to you guys later. So peace.